Hey everyone, Josh here. Today we're going to be showing you how to put in a backlit screen into a Game Boy Advance, original Game Boy Advance. We're also going to be showing you how to replace the plastic original lens with a more durable glass lens. For this mod, we bought our backlit screen kit and a replacement glass lens from rosecoloredgaming.com. The tools you'll need for this mod are a tri-wing screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a soldering iron, a hot glue gun, and a rotary or Dremel tool. First start by removing the battery cover. There are six tri-wing screws you'll have to remove and one Phillips screw to remove underneath the battery cover. Once those are all removed, you can take off the back cover. Once the back cover is off, you can remove the two side panels and the L and R buttons. Now you need to take out the ribbon cable on the top of the motherboard. Do this by pushing up the two gray tabs to the left and right of the ribbon cable. Once those tabs are pushed up, you can then pull out the ribbon cable. Now you'll need to remove two Phillips screws that are still holding down the motherboard. Once those are out, you should be able to take the motherboard away from the rest of the case. Remove the button inlays from the front panel. Now you'll be able to pry away the screen from the front panel. There is a small area on top of the screen that serves as a good spot to put a screwdriver or a prying tool to pry the screen away from the front. Once the screen is taken away, there is a black tape surrounding the window that the screen was on. Remove this tape. If you are replacing the plastic lens on the front panel, all you have to do is push out the old one from inside. If you're going to order your replacement screen from Rose Colored Gaming, there are two types of screens. On their website, they show you how to distinguish which model you have and which screen you'll need. Our model needed the 32-bit model. What you'll get is the screen, a pin extension and adapter, and a short length of wire to connect from the adapter to the motherboard to supply the power to the backlight of the screen. With the screen, you want to place it in the front panel so you can see how it will fit with the rest of the casing. With it laid in there properly how you want it, mark off on the lower edges where the screen meets the plastic. If you flip the front panel over with the screen pressed against it, you'll be able to see that the screen does move left and right a slight amount. We had the screen pushed all the way to the right. This way we did not see any of the frame of the screen. Now you're going to need to modify the front panel of the case. There's a slightly raised section on the inside right of the frame and inside lower part of the frame. This all needs to be removed with the Dremel or rotary tool. Also what needs to be removed are the sections of plastic that were in the way of the new screen. Make sure and leave the corners there that you marked off to keep the screen from moving around too much. You're also going to use these corners to put some hot glue on to keep the screen in place later. Attach the ribbon extension to the current ribbon on the cable. We used the old screen to place on top of the new screen try and get the alignment of the ribbon cable as close as it was to the original one. Initially we had our ribbon cable adapter on upside down, we just had to flip it over. The left leg of component DA1 is what you're going to solder one end of your wire to.
The other end of the wire is going to be soldered to the solder point labeled P1 on the ribbon cable adapter. We kept the ribbon cable in place with two lengths of electrical tape. Now you can secure the screen to the front panel by putting two dabs of hot glue on the two lower corners, the right and left corners. And that's really it for the modding. You can now put back in all the components, the buttons and switches and side panels and everything. Once those are all back in, make sure and connect the ribbon cable back to the motherboard. Secure the motherboard back down with the two Phillips screws and secure back down the back panel. And that's it for the backlight mod. Now we just need to apply the new replacement glass lens. If you get the lens from Rose Colored Gaming, it comes with the lens and four adhesive strips. Place the four adhesive strips along the frame surrounding the screen. The left and right adhesive strips we did have to trim down a little bit so that they wouldn't overlap the screen. Once the adhesive strips are in place, all you need to do is place the lens down on top of them. And now you have a fresh new glass lens with a backlit screen.